Welcome to You Ask, We Answer, where our team breaks down your real questions about indoor air quality in a way that's clear, practical, and honest. Let's get started. Hi, so today we're here to talk about do-it-yourself box fan filters and how effective are they? Well, as a certified air filter specialist, I was curious. When I first saw the Corsi Rosenthal design of a box fan filter, I was curious and I thought, those got to be pretty good. I'll bet you they work just fine. So I was curious enough that I decided I wanted to test it them myself. So what makes a room air filter good is actually it's C-A-D-R. Kadar, Cater, I don't care how you say it, but what it stands for is clean air delivery rate. How that is determined is you take its efficiency times its CFM, and that gives you its Kadar. So uh, a HEPA filter with 99.97 efficiency times 180 CFM is essentially 180 Kadar. Let's take a look at uh, this box fan that we built. So I just went online and found out how to make this. It's really simple. You buy four filters. Um, they are MERV 13 filters. Okay, so I've got four MERV 13 filters that are taped together in a box. You put cardboard underneath and you tape a box fan to the top of it. Very, very simple design. Um, what's tricky though is finding out, okay, well, what is its Kadar? Well, if you did the math, it would be something like this. That box fan is rated to move 2240 CFM and a MERV 13 filter is supposed to be 85% efficient, okay? That would come in at about 19... 104 CADR. Okay. Well, that's on paper. In real life, it's different. So, in real life, this box fan isn't connected to a filter. Okay. And so it can freely move that 2,240 CFM. Okay. But I've connected it to these filters. And for these filters to be effective, they have to be a fairly tight weave and, and fairly restrictive. Okay. And so it's not going to be delivering uh, that, that much CFM, okay? The second thing is a MERV-13 filter is only a MERV-13 filter in the laboratory. Out here in the field, there's turbulent air, there's uneven airflow going across this filter. So its actual efficiency is going to be somewhat less, okay? So the first thing we had to do to figure out what the clean air delivery rate of this box fan filter was to find out how efficient it was. So we took a laser particle counter and measured the particles going in. So we would, and then we would just turn on the fan and then turn the fan on and measure the efficiency coming out. Turns out it's pretty darn good. Uh, all the testing that we did with the different laser particle counters that we have, uh, the uh, efficiency came, at, came in at 80%. That's about a uh, MERV-12, not a MERV-13, but hey, MERV-12 is actually really good. 80% efficiency. Now the next trick was, okay, how much air is coming out? Because that's part of the formula. You multiply the amount of air times the efficiency, and you know what its clean air delivery rate is. All right, so to find out how much air is coming out of our box fan filter, we made this airflow rig to, to measure it. And from this, what we learned was that it was producing about 1,113 CFM. So about half of what it was rated for um, out of the box. So what we determined with 0.8 efficiency and about 1,100 CFM that this box filter, 
box fan filter is actually producing a Kadar of 834. Now, 834 is an amazing number. The largest room air purifier that you can buy only produces 800 CADR, clean air delivery rate. And it costs about $1,500. We made this box fan filter for only $105. So quite a bit different. Now, before you go out and build one of these box fan filters, there are some downsides. So let's talk about them. No, no matter what, it's still just a room air filter. So it will only do one room. And so if you need to filter every room in your house, you're going to have to build quite a few of these. Well, as many as rooms are that you need to have clean air in, okay? The second thing is, it's a box fan. And if you've ever tried to sleep with one of these in the window, <laughs> you know that they're noisy. As a matter of fact, this one on, on high speed, so that you're delivering as much air as you possibly can, it's about 64, 65 decibels, okay? If you do run it down to, 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 to cut down the noise, um, it does drop down to about 57, but that's still quite a bit of noise that you're gonna have in the room. Also, the motor in these is not a high efficiency motor. This box fan only costs 25 bucks. It's not gonna have any high technology in it, okay? And so this unit draws about 57 watts. You know, let's say we're gonna clean your whole house with these box fans, okay? That would cost you about an extra five to $600 a year in electricity. So you need to keep that in mind. Also, these filters, they're gonna need to be changed about every three months. Um, doing the calculations, that's about $300 to $350 a year in filters. One last thing, just like any other room air purifier, um, this can't do anything about what's called air infiltration. So in other words, homes breathe and they are constantly breathing in outside air and that's what you're trying to battle is cleaning it with this box fan. Uh, there's nothing that you can do to mitigate that. You have to have a whole house air filtration system for that. All right, so let's do a comparison between this box fan filter and a whole home system. For a complete breakdown of comparing those two, I actually did a comparison between room air purifiers and whole home air purifiers. So I'm not going to go into all of the differences in, in this discussion, but for right now, we're going to talk about specifically this box fan room air filter compared to a whole home system. Easy, quick comparison, box fan versus a whole home system, way cheaper. You spend $105 on this box fan and you can spend three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on a whole home air filtration system. Okay. Ah, but here the whole home system wins. This is 64 decibels, okay? Whole home system, zero, because it's just the air coming out of your vents. So there is no noise from a whole home system. Uh, these filters last only three months. Uh, a Novasair whole home air filtration system, the filters last for three years. Cost of filters, because these filters have to be replaced every three months, and the Novasair system only has to be changed once every three years. Hands down, the Novasair system is less expensive. These use very inefficient motors and use a lot more watts than a whole home system does. And so you're going to be paying more for electricity for a box fan air filtration system. And um, we did an analysis and you can go to the article, the written article that we have on this and you'll, and you'll have those numbers. But the total cost of ownership of this box fan for the next 10 years is $7,688, where a Novasair air filtration system would be $5,116. So it's actually less expensive 
for a Novacer home air filtration system if you consider all the costs involved and 10 years of ownership. All right, so there you have it. If you're looking for a short-term quick fix, this is a great option. The box fan filter is, is a great unit. It, it delivers a, a lot of Kadar for your bucks, okay? If you're looking for a more long-term investment, you might consider the Novacer air filtration system. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thanks for watching You Ask, We Answer. For more tips and resources, visit us at EssentialAirProducts.com. Clean air starts here.